this lesson we're going to learn about layer blend modes. Um, basically, layer blend, mo blend modes are how lay each layer can interact with the layer underneath, and we can create a type of a, a photo montage like that. Now, over here, um, actually, this is a finished example of what we're going to make. So first of all, I'll get you to open the files that we need. So if we get a Photoshop, and if you get a file, open, and I'm just going to go back and find my files. All right, you will use the same files that I've uploaded to the network. Class tasks, layer blend modes. Okay, all these photographs you need, you need to open up. So I'm going to hold shift and click open, and they're all going to open up here. Um, now, we need to go to the photograph of the background with the people standing on it. There it is there. All right, the first thing we're going to do is unlock the background layer. So if I double click there, and we're going to give it a name, building. It's a good idea to name your layers so you keep things nice and neat and tidy. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to find a picture of the film strip. Now, that's that one there, and I'm going to just drag and drop the picture of the film strip onto the group standing outside the building. So I'm going to pull it off the tab, just move it where I can see it. I'm going to use my pointer, I'm going to click, hold and drag, and drop it over. There we go, and it's huge, and you can see that it's come up over here on the top layer. Now, I'm going to make this a lot smaller with free transforms. So I'm going to hold Control and press T. And I'm going to grab the corner and I'm going to hold shift, click and drag, and move it up here, hold shift again, click and drag until I get it the size that I want. There we go, that will do for now. I'm going to press enter to set that. Um, now, we're also going to rename this layer to film. So if I click on layer one with the layer highlighted, I think I need to double click it, there we go, and I can call it film. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is um, we've resized it and we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. All right, so over here you'll see this uh, menu here. We'll talk more about this in class when we have a look at the worksheet. But we're going to choose multiply. That's going to, that's going to start to blend the film strip with the black background layer. So if I click that, all right, you'll notice it started to blend it. We're in a darker mode. Um, but we can still see the edges. Okay, so we want to get rid of those edges. I'm just going to move it over here. Um, there's a few ways we could do that. We could use a layer mask, which we've done before, but here's another trick you can do. If you grab the rectangular marquee, all right, select that, and if I click, make sure you're on the right layer. If I click and drag a rectangular marquee, oh, that's not right. I'm going to undo that, Command-D. Just watch that your style here is set to normal because mine was set to fixed size so it wasn't letting me drag out a box. So if I go like this, put this all the way around there, okay, I'm going to put a mark here around there. Um, now, the right next thing I'm going to do, if you right click in the, um, in the middle of it, you can go to feather. What feather does is it just basically softens the edges of something and we can give it a number. At the moment it's five pixels, that's going to be a bit too short, so I'm going to set that to um, 30. Let's put that at 30. All right, and you can see the rectangular marquee has kind of curved a little bit. Um, now, we're going to, to soften the edges. Um, we need to inverse uh, this selection here. Basically, inverse is just like reversing the selection. So if I go to inverse like that, you can see I've got a box around the whole image now. Okay, and it's inversed it. So by feathering it, selecting and inversing, all we have to do now is press delete, I think it is, a couple of times. Delete. See how I've just pressed it once then and the edges start to soften? Press it about and they'll soften more. Three times is usually good. If you want to go four, you can go four. All right, and now we've got a nice soft edge, so that film strip looks like it's part of it. Um, to unselect, you can press hold command and press D. It's a good way to deselect. Grab the pointer tool, position it where you want. Okay, if it's too big, you can almost always use the free transform and make it a bit smaller if you want to. Okay, and that's what, so if I just go back here and go to normal, all right, you can see it looks awful, but because we've used multiply, all right, it's now interacting better with the layer below it. 
Okay, if I choose not put go to building and choose multiply, uh, it's not going to do anything because it doesn't have a layer below it. The layer blend modes only work when there is a layer underneath. So they blend in with the layer underneath. I'm just going to put that back to normal. Okay, let's choose another layer blend mode, the overlay, but this time we're going to get the cloud photograph. So find the cloud photograph, cloud. Okay, there it is. I'm going to drag and drop it across, drag it in. And it's over the top here. Now I'm gonna, I want it, I want it on top of both layers, I think. So I'm just going to drag the film layer underneath, like that. Double click, call this clouds. There we go. Now you could resize it if you want. It, it doesn't really matter. We're going to choose the overlay, layer blend mode. All right, where's overlay, 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 which is a contrast mode. So this is a dark, this will darken and lighten the highlights and darks. So if we do that, okay, you can see that's blending in nicely now with the background. We can we can barely we can see a little bit of it shining through. So that gives it a kind of cool effect. If I go back to normal, all right, and you could experiment with some of these too. If I go to multiply, all right, that kind of looks cool as well. It darkens it. All right, remember these ones here in this section will darken, lighten. These guys will lighten, and these ones both darken and lighten. All right, the contrast layers. All right, let's do that one. Um, that was the overlay layer. Let's do the multiplier layer now. Um, let's get the edge. Where's the edge? Let's get this one and bring it in. Okay, we're going to put a little cool border around it. All right, drag it across again. There we go, it's up on there. Um, I'll just position it here for now. But again, let's change the name to edge. All right, and I want to free transform. I'm going to Hold correct command and press, press T, so the box comes up. Now I'm not going to hold shift because if I hold shift, it's not going to go all the way across, or I could, but and then I can just drag it just like this. And I'm going to double click in the middle or press enter to set that. All right, we can't see anything now, but we're going to change the blend mode to multiply, and that's going to take out all of the white and leave the black. So it's going to blend with all these layers underneath. Let's have a look at how that's going to look. So multiply is another darken layer. Uh, dark in layer blend mode, sorry. There we go. All right, so I've got rid of the white for us, and we've got this nice border going on here. Um, where's our last image, the white splashes? There should be another one here. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, there it is there. Okay, click and drag this off, and drag, and oh, that's the wrong one. I don't want to I'm going to redock it, and make sure that's selected, so that I get the right image. All right, drag and drop it across, and you'll notice it's just black and white. Okay, so to make this get rid of the black, um, I'm going to come over to the layer blend mode, and I'm going to choose screen. This is these are your light areas, uh, light and blend mode. So if I choose screen, you watch the black's just going to go right away there. Okay, um, and then I can position that to wherever I want. If I hold Command T to retransform, I could rotate it, All right, change the size of it, put it wherever I want to put it. Okay. Uh, last thing we'll do is we'll create a border. Um, so we're going to make a new layer. All right. We're going to have a nice white border around here. So down next to your bin here is the new layer icon. Press that, and we're going to need to fill it a whole color to begin with. So if I get to add it up here and get a fill, um, foreground colour, blending mode, oh, contents. I need to go to contents and I'll choose black. Let's choose black. Click opacity, okay, make sure opacity is 100%. Blending mode's normal for now. Click OK, we can change that mode. And there we go, we can't see anything. Um, but when we go to layers, we're going to add, first of all, we'll, before we blend it, we'll go to layer style. Okay, we'll add it. We've done layer styles in a previous lesson, but if I go down here to effects, all right, I'm going to add a stroke. Remember strokes, just a nice line around the edge of something. Make sure it's set to inside. Um, the, at the moment, the color's black. That's no good because we won't see it. So let's go to white. I mean, you can choose whatever color you want. And you can see the stroke starting to come up now, which will give you an automatic preview. Um, you can change the size of it to make it a bit thicker. All right, there we go. That will do for now. We can always come back in and adjust it later. Click OK. And there's our fill which is black, and there's our stroke. Uh, now, there's an option over here. 
you can see this option that says fill. Okay, make sure we're on the right layer. And fill is the black color. So at the moment it's 100% fill. If I take that down, click there. If we take that down to zero, all right, we've got no fill. And all we're left with is the stroke. So we've got this nice stroke around there. Now if that's too thick, you can always go back in here, go to effects, double click on stroke. All right, oh, I think it's a bit too thick, so I'm gonna just make it a little bit thinner because I think it'll look better a little bit thinner. Okay. All right, so that's it for now. Now save your work. Once, save it once as a PSD. Um, let's undo that and then save it again as a JPEG.